Okay, we're going to have a look at East Gwillimberry today. We're going to start with the numbers. So East Gwillimberry, May 2021, and forgive my typo up top. Uh, we had 116 new listings come to market. We had 80 sales through the month, and when then we had 81 active listings. If you don't watch my videos, active listings are essentially what didn't sell carry into the next month. Um, April, we had 100. April 22, that is, sorry, we had 139 uh, new listings come to market in East Gwillimberry, 50 sales through the month, and 114 active, which carried into May. May, we had 124 new listings come to market, 43 sales, so sales down. Also, um, number of listings coming to market were down, and you'll see inventory level because, uh, again, these are the homes that didn't sell in the active listings, so they're on the rise. Uh, if we're looking at the money, $1,290,000 was the average sale price in EG a year ago, $1,503,000 in April, currently trending at $1,365,000 is the average sale price across all home types. Um, sales to listings ratio, the SNLR, also known as the absorption rate. This is how we determine whether it's a buyer's market or whether it's a seller's market. So uh, numbers below 50% would be indicative of a uh, buyer market, uh, indicates to us that there is more uh, supply than there is demand. Between 50% and 60% is a balanced market, so enough supply to meet demand. And then when we start getting over 60%, that's what we would call a seller's market where there is more uh, demand than there is supply. So if we look at a year ago, May 21 in EG, 69% uh, of the homes that came on the market sold, 36 in April of 22, currently trending at 34.7. So currently sitting in a buyer's market. But also you got to remember, this is the average across all home types. So where we're seeing a bit of a change here, if you're selling a condominium, uh, condo townhouse, semi-detached townhouse, um, you'll actually see these numbers be a little bit higher. They're that entry point in the market and they, they are a little bit more insulated than what I would say in a lot of cases over, over detached homes. Um, months of inventory remaining tells us that if no other homes came on the market after today at the current rate of consumption or the current rate of buying, how long would it take to completely deplete the inventory? So a year ago, one month of inventory in East Gwillimberry, 2.3 in April, currently trending at 2.8. So we're calculating this by looking at active listings divided into sales. So we can see that we have more active listings, which carried into June. We had less sales through the month. So of course, inventory levels are gonna be on the rise. Um, but still, I just wanna give you some contrast. I mean, the market is, is slowed down. I certainly wouldn't say at 2.8 months of inventory, it's by any means a slow market, um, but it is a market where there's not necessarily the urgency from buyers that there has been in the past. Um, and, and so we are seeing transactions move a little bit slower, but that said, we're still seeing a lot of uh, multiple offers on, on various properties as well. Uh, sale price to list price ratio, home selling 104.7% of ask a year ago, 104.3 in April, currently trending at 101.2. And days on market to get a home sold, 16 in May, 15 in April, currently trending at 14. If you have any questions about the information here or how that would pertain to your current property, please feel free to reach out to me.